welcome to our youtube channel electronics for you in this video i will talk about transfer function so the contents are definition of transfer function then importance of laplace transform in control system then transfer function we will see it in details then properties advantages and disadvantages of transfer function so let us start uh, with definition of transfer function so transfer function is the ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input assuming all initial conditions as zero uh, so friends uh, remember here that output upon input is nothing but gain and trans in transfer function we take the similar ratio but it is with laplace transform now the question will be why laplace transform we will see it later so let us consider a system which is having output as y of t and input signal as u of t and if we take the laplace transform of u of t if it is u of s and uh, laplace transform of y of t is y of s where s is the laplace uh, l is the laplace operator and s is laplace constant then the transfer function will be given by uh, say transfer function if we indicate it by t of s then it will be given by y of s upon u of s now uh, we have already seen the open loop system uh, and here if input signal is indicated by r of t and output signal is indicated by c of t and here this control signal is indicated by u of t so this is the notations in case of uh, uh, open loop system uh, in control system and similarly in closed loop system input signal r of uh, is indicated by r of t output signal is c of t control uh, controlling uh, signal or we, we can call it as actuating signal it is indicated by u of t feedback signal is b of t and error signal is indicated by e of t now uh, we take the ratio of laplace transform of output and input so the question will be why we consider laplace transform in case of control system the answer is laplace transform converts a common functions into algebraic function of a complex variable as for example laplace transform of sin omega t is omega upon s square plus omega square it means that a sin function is converted into a mathematical function similarly laplace transform of e raised to power minus 80 that is exponential function is 1 upon s plus a so here these complex functions are converted into simple algebraic function into into a complex frequency domain here s is equals to sigma plus j omega where sigma is the real number and j omega is the here omega is the complex number and j is our complex variable in mathematics it is indicated by i similarly laplace transform of derivative if you take the laplace transform of dx t by dt then it is s into x of s into x of 0 where x of 0 is the initial condition and s into x of s here uh, x, uh, x of s is the laplace transform of x of t so s into x of s is nothing but a multiplication of the function thus a derivative is converted into multiplication similarly integ in integrals here it is converted into the ratio that is uh, x of s divided by s this is the laplace transform of integral so uh, we can see here that uh, a complex uh, function is converted into simple function in case of a laplace transform that's why we use the laplace transform in case of uh, closed loop in case of control system 
Now again let us consider the same closed loop system and we have already considered the same signal which is indicated here input signal R of t then C of t is output signal actuating signal U of t and Lapla respect to Laplace domains R here Laplace transform notation for R of t is R of s C of t is C of s just this uh, capital letters are uh, the small letters are converted into capital letters with yes as our instead of using uh, t we use here s this is the laplace transform notations for the respective signal now again consider the same definition of transfer function here in control system r of t is our input signal c of t is our output signal here and if we take the Laplace transform of this then R of t is converted into R of s here and R of t is converted into R of s and C of t is converted into C of s. So the Laplace so the transfer function for control system will be transfer function is let me take here here it will be equals to c of s divided by r of s that is laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input with initial conditions here initial conditions equals to 0 this is the definition of our transfer function so the question will be if in general our equation is like this here y is our output and x is our input then the transfer function g of s will be laplace transform of output with uh, to, uh, it is a ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input and with initial conditions as 0 so we can consider here it is y of s divided by x of s and y of s nothing is nothing but the coefficients of all these signals so <coughs> thus we can define the transfer function like this and uh, further this transfer function may be uh, classified into proper transfer uh, function or improper transfer function if the order of denominator is greater than the numerator then we can say that such a uh, such a system is having proper transfer function and if numerator is greater than the denominator's order then this will be improper transfer function for example if we consider let us take the example of uh, if it is s cube plus 2 s square plus 5 s plus 1 with s square plus 2s plus 3 now here the order of numerator is 3 and order of denominator is 2 now such a function is called as improper transfer function because the order of numerator is greater than the order of denominator but if say let us take the example s square plus 2s plus 3 again in numerator and in denominator if it is s plus 1 here you can say see, see here that the order of numerator is greater than the order of denominator such a function is called as proper transfer function now let us consider uh, let us uh, talk about the properties of transfer function and where it can be used so transfer function can be used to find the stability this is the most important part or in case of a transfer function that we can find the stability of a control system by using transfer function then time domain and frequency domain characteristics of the system can be found then output of the system for any given input can be found by using transfer function if the transfer function is known for example we have already seen the definition transfer function as laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input say if we know the uh, transfer function and further we know the input 
sorry it is laplace transform of input so if we know these two factors so definitely we can find out the laplace transform of output and by taking inverse laplace transform we can find out the exact output further poles and zeros of the system can be found by be uh, by using transfer function now let us talk about the advantages of transfer function uh, by using transfer function we can find out the gain then integral and differential equations can be converted into simple algebraic equation and once the transfer function is known the output of the system can be determined for any input signal we have already seen it now then poles and zeros can be found so all these are the advantages of our transfer function now let us talk about the disadvantages of transfer function here the transfer function is valid only for linear time invariant system so it is only valid for linear time invariant system if you if it is a time variant system or if it is non linear system then the transfer function is not uh, valid for this in a transfer function initial conditions are neglected because we always consider initial conditions as zero so the initial conditions lose their importance and transfer function does not give any idea how the present output is progressing thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you